finally finally we have the cooker and this is courtesy of carrefour black november if you don't believe on in black november and black fridays this video is for you because honestly i made a huge huge saving and you want to watch to the end to see us receiving the cooker installing and of course we talk about what to look for when you're shopping for a cooker and obviously we will install the cooker with you <music> hello good people thank you so much for clicking in today's video we are going to change the cooker that i have been using as you can see and of course if you're following this channel you know this is the cooker that i have been using it is a four burner but of late i had been complaining that uh, three burners are not working so i've only been struggling to use one burner with the backup of the meko so that is why we are replacing it but what i've come to decide is that i'm not going to throw it away okay here i'm cleaning yeah so i'm going to i got a fundi after asking here someone came up and told me the fundi i can use to fix it for me so i got a fundi and i'm going to fix it and give it to someone in the meantime so here i am just cleaning the space at least uh, it's not that dirty as um, i would have expected under the cooker yeah so let's clean if you're new to the channel kindly consider subscribing and join the jest family if you have been watching us and you have not subscribed kindly subscribe Please check down below if you have subscribed. I've noted some people watch and they have not uh, subscribed. So please support us. I also noted that the cylinder was dusty. So I also cleaned it at this point. Just find it and take it. Don't ever regret it. Make me your only one. You choose it, don't lose it. Don't let it confuse and yay the new cooker was finally here after the long wait watch to the end to understand why i am calling it the long wait this is a six burner cooker with four gas cookers and two hot electric plates as we open i'm going to share with you a few factors that i considered while shopping for this cooker and let me tell you, before I settled on this cooker, I desired it for a few years. I don't want to say how long, but for because I can't even remember. It's so long that I really wanted this cooker, but I couldn't afford it. And I could keep on saving. And every time I would go shopping, I would check it out at the shop, but I kept manifesting it until today i didn't know this is the day that the lord had made what i can tell you if you have been admiring something or you have been wanting something for so long please keep manifesting it and trusting god and you're going to get it the first thing to consider is the budget and this helps you in being able to save and plan for that thing that you desire the second factor is whether it is gas or electric and depending on your need of course you will need to look into those two aspects in my case i know i need both the plates and electric that is why i chose the one that has both we are now connecting the different items of the cooker at this point, we are connecting the gas, that is the cylinder, with the, the new gas. And this is how you do it. By the way, if you have never done it, you can just check it out. You just connect 
from the previous one. The good thing is that the settings are always flexible. You don't need a different size of a pipe or a cylinder when you change your cooker. This takes us to the third thing that you have to consider when you're shopping for a cooker and that is the size of the cooker one and the size of the space that you need you're coming to put it you don't want to buy a cooker and it cannot fit in your space and also the settings as you will see in this video this cooker does not have a socket like my previous cooker is it a socket or it is not connected to a socket it is connected to the wall you will see us uh, connecting it and you will understand so you have to ensure that your house will be able to accommodate all those things the next factor is the size of the oven and you, i would look at it from two perspectives one the energy that it uses is it electric or gas and does it meet your needs and number two the size does the size meet your expectations the next factor which is also very key is reviews you need to check out what other people have to say about um, whatever you want to buy for instance when I was shopping I really checked through I inquired from people who have used the different cookers and that time I didn't have enough money but I kept on checking around until I was sure that I, will, I was getting the right thing. Of course my desire was this cooker but I had to be sure I'm getting um, a real deal and for sure I feel like I did. But of course we have to wait to use it so that we can be able to say for sure that it was a good deal. So a review will be coming up soon. Finally as to how I managed to buy this cooker at this point in time. So when I first went shopping for this cooker, not afford, so I kept on admiring. Then uh I think two weeks uh, two weeks before the purchase, then I went online to just check whether there are offers. These things that people talk of Black November, guys, it's the real deal. From the first initial price, it had gone down by 10,000. So I was like, boy, at least there's some hope it's going down. So after checking online, I went to the shop to just confirm. And this shop is Kafu. Uh at Sarit Center. So um, I checked and I was told, oh, offers are coming, so keep on, on the lookout. So the following Sunday was the day that the cookers were on offer. And you know what? I saved 24000 So here I was testing whether it is working. Why am I using the matchbox? Because it was not connected to power yet. So... I decided, you know what, before long, let me just try and see how it works.
why I was lighting with the matchbox is because this one is not connected. You can see this one comes with the, the cooker part. Eh? It doesn't come with a socket like the other one I had. So it's going to be fixed here. So I'll, this one will now be free. Woo! Finally. And then now I'll be using this. Oopsie. Sorry, I was not showing. So I've been using this for my other cooker. Because that one had like a whatever. But this one now will connect it here. So I'll be using this one. And now it means this uh, socket is free for any other use. Yippee! Yeah. So let's now check out how the oven looks like. You can see how big it is. I didn't want the one where you, where you put a cooker. Uh, the cylinder, sorry. I wanted this one where you put, you have the entire oven. So, this is it. And of course, if you have been following this channel, you know my love for Beko Cooker. And finally, 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 I have it. Thank you, Jesus. And the saving. Woo-wee! If you watch to the end, I'll tell you how much I have saved from this black november if you're also not following me on ig i share when i hear their offers so check it out yep so that's it so we are now waiting for the fundi to fix it here yay the power has been connected here so if i want to turn on it's just there on and off so that's on and then this is the challenge. So it comes through here then it goes up to where the connection is. So if you have a shorter cable or if your house does not have this connection, you will have trouble. Yeah, so and it is very easy to connect to turn on. So you just it has a lighter. See, then you give it a few minutes to light up. If you light up immediately and then leave it, it goes off. So you light on, then you give it a few seconds, then you release. If you do it immediately, it will go off. Yeah, so basically we are now set for cooking. Yeah. Finally, finally, finally. And baking. I've not finished unwrapping. I'll finish maybe in the evening. So, guys, let's discover this cooker. So, this is the oven. Apparently, this is some storage space. So, I'm so, so, so happy that... I will have space for my baking items. So let's see the items. We have two grills. That. And this one. We have this. I don't know. I'll discover what it is. And you go. Then you have this also for the chicken together with this if you have this and you have never known what it is for you use it like that yeah but of course you don't use uh, the plastic when it's all when it's being cooked then you have the tray this is how big the tray is you can actually bake here or grill there yeah basically that's it for the oven so something like this which I've seen is used for when you're using this to remove it when it's hot you can remove it so I can actually move one of the grills this one 
Japan is really nice. It has these racks, these places where you put your stuff. It's not like my previous one, which you had to estimate where to put. So, these other grill. They really protect it because this is glass, so it can easily break. So I'm going to put one grill here. Together with this. So happy that I have storage. Then we can put this one back. Why am I struggling? What's happening? at two different tracks whatever yeah so there we have it guys that is how big the oven is i'm so excited so my space here and of course the cooker over there so my space here i used to have a a rack here where I put my vegetables and then my cooker goes back to at my cooker the cylinder goes back to where it was and now my maker is over there yeah so that is the new setting now I have to get a space for the rack but it's okay we will figure out but you can't see it in the Just find it and take it all